Hello there! Thank you for tuning into Calvary's Grace Bible Church Online Sunday School. So, how are you all doing today? Are you all doing well? Are you all staying indoors and staying safe? You need to do that because you don't want to go out and contract the virus, which is outside. So, but we'll soon overcome this pandemic as I always say, yes? So getting on to our program today, I think you're already familiar with the program now. So we're going to start with a fun worship song followed by a beautiful story. And today I'm going to tell you a story about God's faithfulness. That's right. So and then we're going to memorize a verse from the Bible and then we're going to close it in prayer right are you ready for it okay what are you waiting for get off your couches stretch your arms out and let's sing let's dance and let's get on with this fun worship song watch it and come right back Of the Bible, Noah. 
This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark, and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth, and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again, and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan, and God protected his family during the flood. Now, the flood had come and gone, and Noah, his family, and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Okay, so wasn't that a beautiful story? Tell me this, what did you learn from this story? Yes, we learned that when we stay upright in the eyes of God, God will always remain faithful to us. That's right. And what does it mean to be upright? We, we remain upright by doing things which are pleasing to God. That's right. So, how do, we, uh, how do we do things that are pleasing to God? By obeying God through our parents, through our teachers and our elders like we learned last week. And by always speaking the truth. By, by not lying. Yes, no matter how hard the situation is and not to pick up a fight with anybody, not to cheat anybody, not to steal, and not to trick anybody. Yes, when we do these things, we please God by doing all these things. And God will remain faithful to us. He will remain faithful not only to us, but to our whole families. And the word says, to a thousand generations. Yes, that's right. So, we, we, we learn it from Jesus Christ himself. That's right. Jesus always did that which was pleasing to the Father who was in heaven. Yes, and we are called to be imitators of Jesus Christ. Yes, we imitate Jesus just like he obeyed God and denied his own will. That's right. So can we also do the same by pleasing God all the time? Yes, so so that God, no matter, even if when we are faithless, God will still remain faithful to us because that's his nature. He cannot deny himself, but he will always remain faithful. Yes? Okay, so now let's memorize this verse from the Bible. And it is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verses 9. Yes? Are you ready? Repeat after me. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Okay, can we do it again? Okay, here we go. It's Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 9. Know therefore 
that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Okay, and I know that that was not simple, but then you can take this whole week to memorize this. Okay? Okay, so then now can we ask Jesus to help us to be upright? Yes? Okay, so let's pray. Let's join our hands, close our eyes and ask Jesus to help us to stay upright. Yes? Okay, here we go. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Lord, thank you for all the worship songs that we sing and for all the stories that we learn today. And Lord, as we just learned, help us to be upright in your sight by obeying our parents, our teachers and our elders, by choosing to always speak the truth, not to hurt others, not to steal, but to always do that which is pleasing to you, just as our Lord Jesus Christ did. Help us to imitate Jesus in our every day's life. Yes, Lord. Help us to do that each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this program. And as I always say, till we meet next time, it's bye-bye and stay safe.